Greetings, family. So I'm just doing another Q&A real quick. Um, the question that I just got asked is, what does it mean if your chakra bracelet breaks? Um, you will hear, whether it's chakra bracelet or whatever, but um, you will hear people say that when your bracelet breaks, that it means it's done doing the work for you, or you'll hear people say that it has absorbed too much negativity, things like that. So um, while that may be true, because uh, so many things are possible, uh, but there's something that um, I try to get people to be more mindful of, and um, it's the fact that you know when you're dealing with gemstone beads, the inside of them is not always smooth, especially if the stones are real. You know, you take a citrine crystal and you turn it into a bead. Carving that from this, if I carve this into a circle and I drill a hole into it, it's very possible, not every time, but it's quite possible and not uncommon for the inside of the hole to not be smooth the way glass beads are. So when the inside of the bead is rough, which can be quite common with gemstone beads, you have it, it, a scraping is going on on the, on the strand of, of the bracelet. And eventually that scraping and friction from the roughness on the inside of the bead can make the string pop. Um, another reason that bracelets break, I, I, this definitely will be the most common reason that bracelets break, is because most bracelets that people buy are factory made bracelets. Most stores um, purchase already made jewelry. And the, jewelry, the bracelets that are made uh, in factories um, and that are machine made, the machines use a type of needle that the machines use a needle and only a certain type of thread can get through that needle. So um, I'm sure everybody knows this string that I'm gonna descri describe. It's typically white, but um, over the last few years, you see more colors like black or even blue or whatever. But for the most part, it's most widely mass produced as a white string. And this white string, they call it crystal thread. And it's kind of, it's flat. It looks like floss. It looks like shiny dental floss. And uh, it looks very strong. It feels very strong at first, but when you've been wearing it for um, a few days, even sometimes it takes weeks, but you can even see in, in a matter of a week or so, some of the, 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 some parts of the thread will start to like separate and start to fray out. And then eventually it pops. Um, because that type of thread is not very strong, but only that type of thread is flat enough and squishy enough, uh, for lack of a better word, to fit through the head of a needle that will still fit through the hole of a gemstone bead. So that being said, um, very thick cords, very thick um, stretch cords. You can't string those, you can't use those with a needle, and machines have to use needles. So um, that really is the biggest reason that bracelets break is just because of the quality of the string that has to be used when you're buying something that was machine made. And almost all stores out there, they sell jewelry that's already been um, mass produced. Uh, a lot of the places where you see a lot of com commercialized stuff and you know, that's just how it's done. It's very widespread in the industry. So though, that's another reason. The other reason could be that um, if it is handcrafted, it could be that the jeweler didn't use a very strong thread or that it just wasn't tied well enough. Putting a drop of super glue on the knot does not make a bracelet last longer. Um, if anything, it makes the around the knot hard, which is more likely to snap. And it also causes a string to get glued to the inside of the bead, which renders that bead unusable when that bracelet eventually breaks. So I don't specifically teach that if a bracelet breaks that it means that something negative was going on or that it's done, it's done, you know, and you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't fix it. You know, if it, if it, if it was in your lap, you know, pick up the beads and it's not a big deal to get it restrung. It's really not a, I, 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 I definitely encourage not overthinking these things. 
It's about you feeling connected to your stones and um, also your intuition and knowing that there's other factors at play. You know, if you just solely, you know, put all your trust in that, um, you know, there's the most high that's looking out for you. There's your angels and your spirit guides that are looking out for you. So um, it's not just as simple as uh, something breaking means that, um, you know, you were in danger. But again, many things are possible. Um, I've heard a lot of stories over the years where it's very evident that uh, it, it could have been symbolic or probably was symbolic of something like a, a type of warning being given to you. You know, if your bracelet breaks literally while shaking someone's hand, that's not something I would ignore. Um, but if I was moving furniture and I get snagged on something and my bracelet breaks, I'm not going to... I'm not going to think, I'm not going to read into that too much. I'm going to pick up my beads and keep it moving and, and probably fix it. So just look at the situation when it happens and make an assessment for yourself. Don't just go by across the board type of teachings where someone's telling you that this means this for everyone because that never applies. We're all having our own unique experience and we all have so many other different factors going on in our lives so with our stars and our guides and and our practices and our internal thought process which overrides the majority of everything in the first place is what's going on in here definitely affects what happens out here so um that is a long answer to what it means when your bracelet breaks and to try not to overthink it and um worry and you know that's not why we wear stones we don't wear stones to worry if something breaks sometimes it means it wants to be multiplied and that one crystal that is now two pieces give one as a gift to somebody or plant and plant apart it as a seed in the ground with your intentions you have so many different ways to be creative in this and just listen to your higher self and follow your intuition which is a lot more um promising and fulfilling than just following a set of rules that just gets regurgitated throughout social media repeatedly so there it is all right family peace and blessings